as you can see in the email with the download and installation instructions getting started with ADF just involves three steps downloading the software installing it and finally running it uh, and when you first run the software you'll be, be prompted for your details so you can automatically download a license from our license server so um, first thing to do is go to our download side and there you will find on top the binaries for the three most popular platforms um, the Windows Mac and Linux and further down there less frequently used platforms and even further down there bug fixed binaries which may include some recent bug fixes and even development snapshots typically you will want to go with the standard binary so we'll download the Windows binary in this case and in the prompt we will put in the details that we got in the installation email so the SCM user ID starting with a U and five numbers and make sure that you copy the password exactly as it is no spaces before or after it um, and copy all the funny characters and so we'll start to download the software as it's fairly large program the package is over a gigabyte it will take some time so we will be back after it's been fully downloaded, which will take about 10 minutes on a medium fast connection. So once the binary has been downloaded, we click on that, that will start the installer and it will take quite, quite some time to extract everything. So we fast forward. Typically you can go with all the standard details. So the installation directory, um, the places where all the data will be stored and then it will take depending on whether you have a Windows Defender uh, up to some 10 minutes or so to download uh, to fully unpack all the uh, files on your Windows machine um, on a Mac it will be faster as well as on a Linux system so once you've set up everything um, the installer is finished you can go to your desktop where you'll find a ADF jobs um, icon. If you double click that, you will, as you will see, you'll be prompted for your details. So you put in your email address and the SEM user ID that you got in the installation email. And again, your password. Uh, so I have to do that for downloading as well as for the first time you're using the software. And then you can um, have to get license dialogue remember those details and if you click submit that will then download a license and if that's successful that will actually start the ADF GUI immediately in this case ADF jobs um, and from ADF jobs you can start all the other uh, modules in particular you can go to new input to start building your molecule and exploring the ADF modeling suite. Installation on a Mac is equally straightforward. After you've downloaded software, open the package, you drag it onto applications. Um, and after that's been unpacked, it will start a verification process. If you double click it, and after that's been done, then you can put in the SCM user ID and the password that have, have been provided to you in the installation email. And you copy and paste those into the get license dialog and so that's what we see here after you've done that and you press the submit button it will check with our license server whether you can get a valid license and if you can that will open up ADF jobs straight away and you can get started